Okay, remember to change my voice. Excuse me for the background noise. I get persecuted for being the only one manning up. So this video is aimed at San Jose, Morgan Hill, Gilroy. I know that I'm much different than everybody else on the planet, and that goes for here as well. But if people don't get together and insist on a logical plan, their offspring are going to be made into worthless worms. They're going to continue rotting inside. And you all know what I mean. You know, no offense, we'll say. And it does piss me off that nobody cares, but I'll go ahead and say no offense. But this has to be said. Now, I'm going to give you the idea that you need to know and think about and you need to rally for that will get you out of this situation that you're in. But I predict, again, I predicted this two years ago and I've been trying this like every day, all, all over the internet, what have you, handing out cards, okay? I'm going to give you the idea that you need to get this country out of this situation. You're going to reject it because you're too focused on selfishness and that's why your attractive women shun me. And that needs to be said too, because I'm the son of two doctors, one a brain surgeon. Okay, I'm half black, half white. Why did I get shunned in one of the least racist counties in America? Okay, because you're so focused on your corporate selfish agendas. You need my leadership, but you're gonna reject it. Because you have rejected the one guys who's doing the right thing on the planet's leadership, God rejects your prayers, he rejects you and your offspring. You can't just keep breeding with the scales that you're doing every generation, okay, as a planet, as a county, as a city, and expect God to honor your prayers or to allow you into heaven. It's important that you know that. So here's the idea. The war on poverty plan, okay? Now, obviously after, you know, I, let me forget, I forgot to say this, okay? After I die, no matter what, people aren't going to go to heaven. Okay, it's a matter of how much, you know, eternal punishment people are going to have. And it has to do with generational ill-gotten gains. It has to do with, you know, people using psychology and erotic desire instead of living uh, with moral precision and true heart. It has to do with your lack of care. It has to do with your conformity instead of loyalty to God. Okay, and that's a long story. I want to make this brief. TikTok's giving me a hard time by uploading these videos. I'm getting cyber attacked and I'm being fumed and poisoned all the time. I'm being fumed right now. It's hot and I'm on the side of the road in my car. So let's just shoot through this. Okay. So you need a 2% tax on things. Okay. On a new 2% tax on alcohol, cigarettes, tobacco products, lighters, and cannabis. Now, before you start crying about it, you spend $20 on beer. It's only like 40 cents, okay, for the 2% tax. But if we tax all these things, okay, which are luxury goods, for people who are struggling, money shouldn't be buying anyway, then it will bring in $10 billion a year, okay? $10 billion a year, just from that. If we do another tax, you know, an average of $5 a month, an average of $5 a month for taxpayers who make less than a million dollars, or excuse me, worth less than a million dollars, and people who are worth more than a million dollars pay an average of two hundred dollars a month. We'll bring in another sixty billion. If we stick to my blueprint for tiny homes in the suburbs and in, in, on a government property in the cities, we can build tiny homes with running water and electricity, with land purchases included, for an average of thirty thousand a pop. Okay, that means for just thirty billion, we can build, build a, a million tiny homes in in, in America. That will more than cover homelessness. You know, there's about 600,000 plus homeless in America. And we can rent out the other stuff and save people money and so on and so forth. We use the other money for food programs to combat inflation and to combat child hunger and to provide for families that don't, um, you know, get enough food in. And if we do this effectively, you know, the wholesale effect, what have you, the manufacturer effect, we should be able to... Um, save a lot you know a lot of those people who are going to pay that five dollar a month on average uh tax okay a lot more money than that they're paying for that average of five dollars a month okay they might be paying three dollars five dollars it's an average tax a progressive tax okay i gotta cut it short here because it gives me a hard time about uploading this okay they edit my pictures they edit my voice okay because i'm the true leader that you need to follow okay not a gang leader not a corporate leader not a political guy i am the moral leader that you need to rally to to go the moral path read proverbs 8 1 through 20 especially verse 20 wisdom walks in the way of righteousness along the path of justice okay 
Christ's spirit, God's spirit is justice and righteousness. Isaiah 51, Isaiah 16, 5, speeding and seeking the causes of righteousness and justice. Proverbs 16, 12, the throne is established through justice. The golden rule, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Okay? You people are not living this and it's not good. And trust me, you know, I've lived in a mansion in Saratoga, swimming pool, you name it. It, it recently sold for like $5 million or it's worth $5 million now. Okay? I, I used to drive an infinity you know, when I was younger, I've had all the money, all this stuff. That stuff doesn't matter. Righteousness is what matters. I hung out with the thugs and hung out with the corporate crowd, hung out with hippies. I hung out with all kinds of people. Went to six different high schools. Let me tell you, your cultures are nothing compared to righteousness. And you're wasting your lives. And you need to come together for what is right and accept adversity. A lot of you are scared of the government. You're scared of your gangs. You're scared of the community. You need to stop being scared and stand for what's right. And the government thinks you're all stupid enough to think that because I stumble on my words because I'm being fumed, that you shouldn't stand with me. You know how much money they will have to settle for if you stand with me? I already have 23 witnesses on record. If you stand with me, help me expose this, they're gonna have to settle with me for maybe even a billion dollars. Depending on the settlement, whoever stands with me and does the right thing and helps me expose this and helps me get justice, I'll pay them a reasonable amount of the settlement for them telling the truth about this. The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. 